بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أحبت في الله it's very important for us to know that people do want to see you destroyed and this is a sad sad reality and this is more so for those people who call to Islam or people who might do some good deeds that are apparent good deeds that the people witness know that many people will line up to see your destruction and they want to see you fall. So it's so important for us to realize that and to be able to harness in our own nafs, our own soul and our own desires and not be excessive in spending our time in dealing with the false claims of the people and misunderstandings of the people and ignorance of the people and foolishness and foolish behavior and conduct from the people because that will never cease and you will never be able to please the people and so it's so important to call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with ikhlas with sincerity and to strive your honest and best to be truthful and go forward lillah fi sabilillah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to gain the reward of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that whoever makes hijra lillahi wa rasuli fa hadha lillahi wa rasuli whoever makes hijra or they you know they do something for Allah and his messenger then they've done it for Allah and his messenger the shahid is that this hadith is showing us the importance of sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That getting involved with the false claims of the people and foolish speculation and want for your destruction at the hands of the people is often not worth addressing and not worth getting into. Let me give you an example. Recently, one of our brothers, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us in him and guide us in him and protect us in him and preserve us in him. When discussing the issue of takfir, that our brother looked for every exception to try to make a point that the speech I made was wrong. And let me give you an example and why this is so un-Islamic and so it, it lacks ilm. It's not a knowledge-based thing. For example, when the scholars, the major scholars and the scholars of the past, um, when they teach, when they write, when they share knowledge, do they spend hours on the smallest point giving you every exception or do they give you the rule? Of course, if you want to teach knowledge, you have to give people the rule. Let's give you a secular example. If I'm going to teach you the simple past, which is a, a, a verb tense in English, am I going to give you exceptions to the rules and say, well, sometimes the simple past, sometimes there are irregular verbs, and so the form is going to change? And say, no, I'm going to give you the base form so you begin to work with, so you have something to stand on. Likewise, with issues in Masail al-Din, with issues of the religion, it is upon the scholar, and it is upon the teacher, and it is upon the da'i to give the people what they need so they can understand the issue, so that they can better themselves in their Islamic understanding or their Islamic practice in their coming closer to Allah. It's not to give them every exception to the rule so that the people are confused and they don't know what to think. They don't know what to believe. And so this is something I just wanted to share as it is such a common, strange activity. And I believe, now this is my, I can't read into people's hearts, but I honestly believe most of the time because I've met and, you know, and the shaitan whispers to us all, but I've known enough human beings in this life to know that a lot of people, they do this because of, out of sort of a spite. They want, and, and out of kind of an arrogance that they want to show that they have something. You forgot, you forgot, you forgot the dot on that eye. 
Okay, so you're teaching people how to draw an I. And in fact, you drew the capital I. But they are talking about the small I and forgetting the dot in order to disprove you. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, protect us, kulisu wa makru, wa sallallahu wa sallam, 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 wa